Randy Orton has made a triumphant comeback to WWE after being absent from television for over a year due to serious back surgery. The anticipation among fans was palpable as Cody Rhodes announced Orton's impending return on last week's Monday Night Raw, setting the stage for his official comeback at Survivor Series War Games 2023. At the War Games event, Orton joined forces with Cody Rhodes, Sami Zayn, Seth Rollins, and Jey Uso in a men's War Games match against The Judgment Day and Drew McIntyre. The Viper's return was marked by a decisive victory, showcasing his prowess and rekindling the excitement of the WWE Universe. Returning to Raw this week, Orton continued his winning streak by defeating Dominic Mysterio in a singles competition. With his return, the Viper wasted no time in declaring his major goal, taking on the bloodline. Among the superstars who might be feeling the heat of Orton's return, Roman Reigns stands out as someone who should be particularly wary. This video explores four compelling reasons why the Tribal Chief should be on high alert following the Viper's comeback. Number 4. Randy Orton Wants Revenge on All of the Bloodline Randy Orton made a grand return to Monday Night Raw this week, commencing the show with heartfelt gratitude towards the fans. However, his moment was abruptly interrupted by Rhea Ripley, setting the stage for a heated altercation involving J.D. McDonough and Dominic Mysterio. Despite the interruptions, Orton emerged victorious in a match against Dirty Dom later in the evening. Adding a layer of intensity to his return, Orton unveiled his significant objective, a determined mission to dismantle the bloodline piece by piece. This declaration stems from a desire for revenge following the brutal assault orchestrated by the Samoan faction on him and his RK Bro partner, Matt Riddle, last year. The focal point of Orton's vendetta is Roman Reigns, the leader of the bloodline. This development should raise concerns for the Tribal Chief, not only in terms of a potential one-on-one -on -one confrontation with Orton but also the looming threat of losing key allies who have shielded him throughout his dominant tenure in WWE. The prospect of facing such formidable challenges could signify a precarious period for Reigns at the pinnacle of the wrestling hierarchy. Number 3. Orton is a free agent as of now in WWE. Randy Orton, alongside CM Punk, made a high-profile return at WWE Survivor Series War Games 2023, creating significant buzz. Surprisingly, just two days later, both superstars graced the stage of Monday Night Raw. Despite initial assumptions about them becoming mainstays on the red brand, it appears that, for now, they are operating as free agents. In this unique status, Randy Orton is slated to make an appearance on WWE Friday Night SmackDown this week, emphasizing the flexibility of his current arrangement. As a free agent, the Viper possesses the freedom to potentially make appearances on any of the three WWE brands whenever he chooses. This unrestrained status raises the intriguing possibility of Orton targeting Roman Reigns without the constraints of brand affiliation. With the only potential hindrance being the decisions of SmackDown General Manager Nick Aldis and Raw General Manager Adam Pearce, there is a palpable sense of unpredictability as the legend killer could launch a surprise assault on Reigns at any moment. Number 2. The Viper joins a long list of other stars who have a vendetta against the Bloodline. Adding to the list of concerns for Roman Reigns, Randy Orton's targeting of the Bloodline is rooted in a straightforward yet significant fact. Orton represents yet another prominent WWE superstar who harbors a strong aversion to the Samoan faction and is determined to dismantle them. Orton is not standing alone in this mission, as several other notable stars share a similar mindset. Cody Rhodes has been particularly vocal about his desire to bring down the group, and the list extends to include Sami Zayn, Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, and even LA Knight, all expressing disdain for the bloodline. This collective animosity among some of the best WWE superstars poses a substantial threat to the Tribal Chief and his faction. With Orton at the helm, boasting leadership history and veteran knowledge, there's a plausible scenario where he could rally these formidable talents to form a united front against the villainous faction led by the head of the table. Roman Reigns should indeed be genuinely concerned about the potential formation of a full-time supergroup orchestrated by Randy Orton to oppose the bloodline. Number 1. Randy Orton has seemingly made peace with Jey Uso As previously mentioned, Randy Orton has unequivocally declared his mission upon returning to WWE to dismantle the bloodline, targeting not only Roman Reigns but also Jimmy Uso, Paul Heyman, and Solo Sokoa. However, a lingering uncertainty remains in this narrative. 
During the brutal assault on Randy Orton last year on Friday Night SmackDown, Jey Uso was a participant. Although Jey later parted ways with the bloodline, speculation arises about whether Orton seeks revenge against main event Jey Uso. A recent conversation between Orton and Uso on Raw seemingly cleared the air, but the Viper's intentions remain enigmatic. The question of whether Orton and Uso are genuinely aligned raises a potential challenge for Roman Reigns. Jey Uso, being Reigns' cousin, holds intimate knowledge of the bloodline's secrets and vulnerabilities. If Orton and Jey collaborate, it could have profound implications for the WWE landscape. The prospect of a feud between Roman Reigns and Randy Orton looms large, with the potential collaboration between Orton and Jey Uso adding an intriguing layer to the unfolding drama. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more interesting content like this in future. Till then see you all in the next one. Thanks!